Hello. Hey, Goose. Is Goose okay? Or do you or is uh Goosetsu? Let me know if you have a preference. Alright, so I checked out this game yesterday and I switched over to a controller because I missed when I first picked up the game that uh it uh recommends a controller. So we're gonna give that a try. And I I preloaded the game here because I wasn't sure. Well, I, I loaded it up and it started a new game and I got really nervous and so then I retried and it loaded in my game and I like was too afraid to uh, close the game and try it again. So, how's everybody doing? Look at how cute this is. I'm like, I'm never gonna get tired of how cute this game is. It's just so sweet. It's really, like, what I've needed lately. I need just, like, a cute, silly game. Hey, friendo. How are you doing today? Need anything? Hey, I didn't hear... Uh, didn't I hear that it was you that cleared the way into the mountains? Boy, am I glad to have someone like you around town. I was finally able to make it to the hot springs again. Being mayor of a whole village can be pretty stressful sometimes, and there's nothing like a soak in Lumi's onsen just to make all of those worries melt away. Oh, I heard a cat in the game, and I thought it was a cat in my room. I was like, oh yeah, where's Harvey at? I'm trying to find him. Okay. Uh, I guess I forgot how much I need that once in a while. You should try it too. You've been working so hard and doing such a great job with the cafe. Oh, speaking of the cafe, uh, I know of an animal that would be a perfect addition. I, I think it's funny that it gives the same answer three times. Uh, there's a red panda who likes to hang out around the cliffs at the edge of Heart, um, edge of Heart Village near my house. Whenever I see her, I like to give her treats and play with her, but recently I've had so much on my mind that I haven't been giving her the attention she deserves. But now that the cafe is back, do you think you have room for her there? She loves to have company, so I know she'd fit right in with all the all the other animals. We actually already have a red panda. It might be that one. Of course there's room for her. Oh, wonderful. Like I said, she comes by my house a lot, so you might start looking over there. I almost wonder if it's a bug that we always get the same option. Like, I feel like there's supposed to be a dialogue option. Give me patches. Excuse me. Is this the animal you were talking about? Oh, that's how you wiggle them. Oh, I get it. Oh my god. Amazing. A roller coaster for this red panda. Command animal. Go to the cafe. Cafe is full. What? Follow me. Let's try again. Go to the cafe. Yeah. Alright, I got your critter. I did the thing. <laughs> I was right. Uh, I was in the cafe earlier and saw Patches there. Patches? Oh, I forgot to tell you, but that's what I call that red panda I told you about. I was so happy to see her in your cafe. Uh, Lily was in there playing with her and she was loving the attention. I know Patches will be happy there. Here, take this as thanks. Sweet. Patches' favorite toy. We better go put that down. We have to get clothes today. I think that is my goal of the stream, is to get new clothes for our character here. And let's drop some, uh, some toys. Our inventory is the share button. Okay. Toys. Uh. How do I, how do I place it? Thank you. 
Use the toy button to equip or unequip. What's the toy button? Oh, okay. It's that one. You have me on in the background, so you'll be popping in and out. This game looks cool. Slightly terrified of the giant cat, though. Yeah, we can make any of the cat, I mean, any of the animals and ourselves larger. It's weird. Uh, but thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. Oh, well, there it goes. I want to leave the toy here. Throw a toy. There we go. Just, I want it to just stay here. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I just always have them in my inventory. And then you can just, like, play with the animals. This game is very funky. Like, it's... It's got, like, a charm to it. Get off the counter. Cats. I don't know how to, like... That's fine. We're gonna leave. I need my capybara. Thank you, sir. Let's go get clothes. I have a hunch we're going to finish this today. Just a hunch. I don't know if that's true. Actually, probably not. I, I doubt I'm going to stream for too, too long tonight, but I know it's a relatively short game. Love this wonderful little game. Hey, Rose. Welcome back. Yeah, I it's growing on me. If, when I started playing it, I, um, oh wait, I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this animal. Hi. Look at him! I love him. I like this game more than I thought I would, honestly. Um, I thought that it would be a charming little quirky indie game, but it, it has a, a lot going for it that really works. Um, and yes, Mike, I am riding a capybara. Uh, Follow me, because I know my cafe is full, but I love this bird. This bird is going to be one of our permanent residents. I think it's supposed to be a pigeon, but it looks more like a, a larger bird. Oh my god, there's another one. I need you. Hello. Follow me. Please. Mike, how are you doing? How have you been? Do you need anything? Well, isn't this just perfect start of my day? Just wonderful. Everything okay? Oh, it's been one heck of a morning. I was juggling a box of accessories, a muffin, and my store keys at the door when I was swarmed by some pigeons. I guess they wanted my cupcake more than I did. I was super surprised that they tossed and that I tossed everything up in the air. When everything came down, I realized I lost most of what I'd been holding. My cupcake, gone. Half the accessories, adorned by the pigeons now. <laughs> also, my store keys are gone. I think they were stuck to one of the pigeons along with, uh, with the accessories. Goodness. Could you be a pal and go look for those pigeons? They should be nearby and looking real fashionable right now. One of them should have my keys. Okay, I'll take a look. Pick up fancy pigeon. I love that we can, like, wiggle them. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. We got another one. Come here. Come here. Follow me. You're tired, but good. I feel that. Everybody seems to be having, a, like, a, a time this week. Shop. Oh, we got cat ears. Um. How do I select it? Weird.
squad of fashionable pigeons follow you. That's the plan. That's what I want. Also, I think I'm stuck. I can't X out of this. Oh no. I'm like really stuck. I can't get to the options menu. I can't switch to my keyboard. I might, I might have to, let me try tabbing out and back in. Usually I have to use the arrow keys. To, yeah, I'm trying. Trying the arrow keys, I'm trying the controller. Yeah. I, uh... We, we might have to relaunch the game. Well, at least it wasn't a lot of progress lost. <sighs> One moment, please. It's fine, it's fine. Give it a second and should pop back in. There it goes. Alright, well. We can at least run through all this very quickly. Also, Rose, you've played this a lot. Is this a bug? When it says that, uh, when it says all the same dialogue options, but there's three of them. Come here, panda. Feature. Is there no other answer? There is no other answer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There we go. We're back on track. I like this music. It's nice. Pigeon! I just really want you to take the panda. Follow me! Follow me. Alright. Just go through all this again. Uh, I'm not gonna try to buy stuff. Maybe I'll do that later. I am gonna save very frequently, though. Where is the next pigeon? Alright. This pigeon is not following us. Follow me. There's there's some pigeons. Hello, sir. Follow me. Pigeon, do you have keys? Imagine if you showed up to a cat cafe and it only had pigeons. Follow me. French pigeon. Wait. 
what's for sale. Yeah, now I can move around and touch, like, select things. Okay. Maybe I should try the other one one more time. save and then I want to go buy those cat ears shop oh yep it's just this that's bugged out all right man really what if I unplug my controller yeah all right, well, at least I saved, so we'll just load it up one more time, and then I just, like, won't go in there, I guess. That stinks. I want to buy clothes. You know what? No one's in a rush. I'm gonna try loading it up, because we didn't have any problems when I was only using the keyboard, so let's just try the keyboard. And if it still bugs out, then I just won't won't do it again. Luckily, it only takes like a minute to load into the game. It's not exactly an inconvenience. Not like Subnautica. Now, reloading Subnautica, now that's a headache. All right. We are just gonna use a, uh, the mouse. Who needs a controller? Hey, thanks for that follow. Uh, but the cat ears are gone, which is a bummer. We could get the the heart prop top. Let's do it. I hope we can change the color on it. But where is it? Oh, I got some new rad furniture. Didn't realize that. Uh, character is five? Oh. <gasps> I didn't realize we could change the color for, for this at all. Oh, man. Y'all, what color are we feeling for our, for our top and our, our pants? do a nice teal. I'm kind of feeling the teal. I got the teal eyeshadow going on. Let's do that. And then we've got our, our pants that we got to change color. That's not bad, actually. Just do some purple. This is kind of stand-in anyways until we get clothes that we like. I can't believe I didn't realize that we could change the color of this. Uh, except maybe not... There we go. Am I ready to join the dark side? What do you mean? Oh. Oh, I know what you mean. Uh, nope. Not yet. Sorry, Marcus. <laughs> and I don't want to spend forever on the clothes colors. Alright. Oh, we're adorable. Oh, we're so cute. We need a couple adult beverages in me. Yeah. Wait. None of... 
These guys are following me anymore. All right. Come to me. Come here. No, wait, no. Don't be free. Follow me. Wait for me to say pieces of it and then splice the videos together. Do you really want to be like that guy, though, Mike? Or Marcus? Either one of you. Because that's, that's like a, that, that is like a, a whole other thing. <laughs> Only accept legit who he has. When you asked Mark if he would do it, I thought he was going to ban you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me on the capybara. Thank you. My gosh. All right. I feel better that we're not just wearing white all the time now. You wouldn't have been surprised. They just mute you for 10 minutes. Now, that's not Mark's style. You either are perma muted or uh or not. Hello, Queen Pigeon. I can see why the game recommends uh, to use a controller. Absolutely. It is way better on a controller than a keyboard, but... That's all right. At least we can hide the controls on keyboard, so. And they're always right there, so it's, like, not that hard to manage. What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Are you stuck? I can't come get you. You're too high up. I can't even jump from here. Please come down. Ugh. How are you doing? Darling, so good to see you. Do you need anything? How nice of you to offer. Your cafe is the talk of the town, you know. And of course, I've been appreciating your patronage at the general store. Apologies, though. I'm a tad distracted right now. Everything okay? You seem really stressed out. Oh, dear. You're new around town. I hate to burden you with our gossip. Is this me? Because I've, that's been me lately. I'm like, am I burdening people with my gossip? But since you asked, maybe you can actually help me out. You've met Ash, my assistant at the general store. Yeah, they've come by the cafe. How nice. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Ash. They're so passionate and talented with their magic studies. I'm just a little worried because their work at the shop seems to have gotten worse recently. Not that we usually get busy here, mind you, but the change concerns me. Hey, Orc. Welcome in. I hate to ask, but do you think you could try talking to them for me? Yeah, right? Okay, so the thing that really, like, flipped this game for me from being, like, a cute kind of, like, just, just like a cute game and, like, the purpose of the game is to be cute, the thing that really got me is that she, this character, has stretch marks on her thighs. Like... Yeah, good for this game. I've never seen, like, stretch mark uh, representation in anything before. So I'm like, yeah. I hate to ask, but uh, could you try talking to them? Uh, I can try. Ash doesn't talk to me about their problems, but maybe talking to a friend instead of their boss is just what would help them open up. Cat, get that cat. I have, I've gotten that cat before. That cat belongs to the mayor. So I, I don't like to steal the mayor's cat. Okay, I'll do my best. Great, okay. Back to taking inventory. I mean, we can. We can definitely, we can definitely take the cat. Come here. You know what we're gonna do? I know what we're gonna do. Come here. Meow. Meow. Yes. 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 
This is our cat now. This is our hat. Hat cat. It's also a hat. Um, trying to think if we actually want any of this. A spooky partition. You know what? I'm going to buy the spooky partition because I know that we were specifically asked to get something spooky for the cafe. Um, and that counts. Has the- oh my god, that other pigeon is so stuck. How are we gonna how are we gonna get this pigeon, you guys? Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna bug ourselves out trying to get that pigeon. Okay. Let's go talk to these lovebirds. What's up, friendo? Need anything? Oh gosh, I hope Trixie's alright. Oh, that's right, we have to like find somebody. Okay. And we need mushrooms for them. I love her space things. How are you doing today? Need anything? Hope you see hope I'll see you at the magical mixer at the community center later this week. It's a monthly event that I organize to drum up community spirit and give everyone a chance to mingle with their neighbors. Even some people from out of town come by sometimes, like Kai from the lighthouse. It's a lot of fun, but there's so much to organize. Even though I do this every month, I still feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh dear, food! I don't have anything prepared at all. Do you think you could help? I want to make sure that there's something there for everyone, so I'll need one food of each type. Could you bring me one sweet, one savory, one fancy food sometime this week? I'll bring the whole spread. You really are a treasure. I'm so happy to have you around. Oh, I didn't mean to pick you up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw you. Wait. Okay. Oh, shit. He made it. How many of these pigeons are there? Come here. Uh, I have a feeling that it's like once I've picked up enough of them then the last one will will show up. Oh, that's all the same stuff. I did the thing. How'd it go? Maybe you should start selling accessories to pigeons. They seem to love them. As quaint as that sounds, I've had it with those birds today. Were you able to get my store key back? Here you go. I didn't realize we got it. Yahoo, thanks for finding that for me. Here I was worried I was going to need to get a whole new set of keys and change the my lock. You're a lifesaver. Here, I got you a little something. What did we get? Huh. <laughs> Oh, we got boots. We're, we're wearing the boots. Oh, we get to keep the glasses all the time. That's nice. I mean... Alright, you guys. Which pigeon are we keeping? We don't have a lot of space back at the, uh... At the cafe. 
I think we can let this one go. I think we can let this one be free. The fancy pigeon. Oh. We need you. You're important to us. Nope. You are free. Get out. This one. Be free. I kind of like our king and queen pigeons. Where is Mia? Maya? Oh, hell yeah. I didn't I didn't realize that this had a um reference to everybody. I love it. Okay. So now I know who Maya is. I couldn't remember. Hey! Are you here? Actually, I should probably just check the map, huh? Uh, yeah, supposedly she's here. But I don't know if it'll let us in her house. Nah, she's sleeping. Alright, we'll go to bed, and then we'll come back in the morning. Uh, we can actually do that. Yes. Man, we're gonna have to get rid of critters if we're gonna keep the, uh, one of the pigeons. Save and sleep. Can you ride cats too or just the capybara? Yeah, you can ride any of the animals. I don't know about the birds. No, we can't ride the birds. But we can ride any of the other ones that are big enough. Uh, we can even just, like, make the animals larger. Um, actually, I've got a question. I want to find the deer that's already quite large. You know what? No, we're going to give this to Capybara. <gasps> oh, it just made him smaller. But yeah, we can like we can ride the deer and the cat. I just like the capybara the best. Where is our calico? Hey buddy. Yes. Perfect. I love it. Whatever comes our way, rain or shine. This music's a groove. Hey, I've got news for you. Hello, Owl Club. Owl Club. Owl Club. I want her dress. It'll be nice when we get the beach open again. Have you heard about the poison flowers there? Oh, that's good to know. All right, well, should we follow her? We'll just, we'll just beat her there. Get some new music. I still don't know how to get past those, those weird cats. Those construction cats. I 
I hope this game has mountain goats. That would make me happy. I like mountain goats. I'm gonna name them all Walter. Doggo. That beautiful blue water. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Doggo. Hi. Need anything? It's so nice to see you back here again. Not everyone from Heart Village likes to travel, so it's nice. So it's hit or miss with newcomers whether I'll get to see them much. Admittedly, it's a bit of a climb to get up here from the village, but and not everyone can take the cold. But hey, since you seem to like it up here, maybe you could do me a favor? What do you need? It makes me a little sad that some of the people who live in the woods around town don't get to experience the magic of snowy mountains and their animals. There's so much love about the mountain. So much to love about the mountains. There's beautiful views, the trees, and the fluffy snow, but the best part is all the special animals that live up here. My favorite is the arctic fox. It's so majestic. I thought if you had a snow animal in your cafe, it would be a great way for the townsfolk who aren't able to make the trek up here to get to know those animals too and appreciate a little bit of the mountains. Might even encourage some folks to come up here, who knows? You got it. Oh great, I'm really impressed that you are able to accommodate so many different kinds of animals in your cafe. I've got my hands full with just my capybaras. I think I saw an arctic fox wandering not too far from here. Let me know once you've got her settled in. I, I'll want to come visit. You're with your people now. Oh, it's a giant bell. We will find this fox. That's just a dog. That doesn't look like a fox. It's a rabbit. Let's try going down a little bit. I think this is how we came up. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta love when you don't take fall damage in a game. Fox! Buddy! Come, come. If I make you smaller, does that turn you into a fox? Hello. Excuse me. Please come. Hello. Uh, come. Yeah, that worked. Uh, I don't. Oh, hey, I can flip them around. I don't know if. Yeah, the cafe is full, but you can come with me. We can at least um, teleport back. And we still can't get over here, right? Yeah. This bridge is out. Okay. You guys, we have to let one go. I can't- we can't get rid of Aldi. He's really important. The capybara is also important. 
Oh, hey, our cat person's here. I wonder. Oh, that just works on us. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping we could give it to him and turn him back into a human, but I guess not. Saying hi. I'm stuck. I think it's gonna have to be. What's it gonna fuck? I feel like a monster, like kicking one out. Be like, this is not your home anymore. Alright, it's gonna have to be one that's outside. I think it's gonna be the deer. No, I like the deer, though. You guys. Alright. You know what? We did a quest with the red panda already. I need the, I need the panda. Give me the panda. Pick up patches. <laughs> can't do it. Be free. <laughs> go to the cafe. Now we have to go all the way back up. That's the lame part. So you know what? We're gonna free one more animal. We, we need... Uh, but we've got to have a bird. I just love birds too much. Just go down. Alright, you're safe. You've gotten out of reach. Alright, I'm sorry. Be free. The red panda is easier to get back. That's my reasoning. Um... But how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's taking it easy. I know I have been, like, totally overwhelming myself lately and need to take a break. I'm gonna take, take some time off, do some self-care this week. Have I kept up with E3 at all? I have. Um, I watched the Nintendo Direct today. Um, and it was alright. That's how I felt about all of E3. I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. Um, I liked the footage for Breath of the Wild 2. I thought that looked really good. There was the, the new... Um, uh... I'm blanking on the name of it now, the new 2D Metroid. Um, that looks cool. Uh, everything else I was like, meh, eh, meh, maybe. I didn't see myself spending $60 on any of the other games. I'll, I'll put it that way. Has anything stood out to you? I think a lot of it was just that, like, like Life is Strange is coming to Switch. That's super cool, but I already have it on PC, and I'm definitely going to play it on PC over Switch. Hope you're doing well. Did the thing. I saw a cute little fox in the cafe the other day. You know, regardless of what impression she makes on the other customers, it made me feel like I was at home to come down the mountain and see a snow animal there. I'll definitely be coming back to visit you again soon. Hooray! Quest complete. 
So wait, I told Ash that the Owl Club is back on, so like, why am I still getting this? It's really tempting to just jump down there, but that seems like a bad idea. Same, you like the new Metroid and Advance Wars remake, but nothing you'd pay full price for other than Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's like, as, as much as I love Life is Strange, and I definitely plan to play the remasters, absolutely, and the new game, I don't want to pay full price for just the the remasters, like, again on Switch. I, I just have a feeling they're going to be cheaper on PC. Um... Hello? Woohoo! I did the thing! Hey, you made it back and I heard about your wonderful new feathered friend. I hope you remember that, uh, that with plenty of love anyone can be friends. Here's a gift for you. Take care. Uh, who's Ash? Uh, four? I forget how I got to the uh, townsfolk. Here we go. Which one's Ash? Oh, that one's Ash. Okay. I need to memorize the names. I'm super bad with names, which isn't great as a streamer, but here we are. I'm trying to think of other things that it were announced. I don't even I don't even remember other things being announced that I was like really excited for during the rest of E3. It seems like I think that 2021 and 2022 are going to be kind of dead years for games because like all the games that were planning to come out in 2020 um are like uh were already in the works during the pandemic. So like they were just kind of finishing during the pandemic, you know. And that's very different from starting a new project during the pandemic so i can see like those companies finishing the projects they're on and then taking a break before diving into something new so i, I just have a feeling that everything's going to be a little bit more delayed even though things are kind of opening back up now What's for sale? Ooh, look at all this stuff. Bread recipe. Let's buy it. A cute display case. Let's buy it. Donut recipe. We're gonna buy it. I like the citrus stuff. Remote control mouse. Maybe later. What are you doing here? I did the thing. Oh, is, the, is this the food for the magical mixer? It all looks delicious. Thank you so much. We didn't even do anything. Do we just needed to have the recipes? We didn't have to actually make them? Oh my god, I got so much money. Oh, hey, I need to talk to you. Sup? What's for sale? Ooh, I want it. Cake recipe, I want it. Rad bookshelf. I want it. Spooky sofa. I, I want it. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. 
How's work going? Hey, super boring, but I learned a new magic trick. Want to see? Wow, that's really cool. So, uh, do you not like your job? <laughs> oh, I get it. Estelle asked you to talk to me, huh? What? No. You're pretty sharp. Uh, I hate that I worry her so much. But, wait, actually, you might be able to help. <laughs> Estelle, back off. We're having a conversation here. Stop eavesdropping. Wait, really? What can I do? Look, Estelle's super cool, and she's a great magic teacher, and she was so cool to give me a job here. But the actual work part is totally boring, and I just can't motivate myself. Back when your aunt ran the cat cafe, I would get coffee every morning, and that would totally pick me up. Ever since the cafe closed, I admit I've been slipping. Any chance you could make me some fresh coffee? That would be sure to get me back on my game for sure. I want to continue our conversation. Owl Club! Oh gosh, is it back on? That's great! Wait, I can't attend any Owl Club meetings until my work is done! As soon as the mountain path was cleared, I got huge supplies order from Lumi. I've had to spend all day putting it together and I haven't even done my deliveries yet. But Owl Club... But Owl Club... Say, since you're eager to join, do you think you can help deliver some things while I close up shop? Uh, then we can go to Owl Club. Yeah, deliveries. Yeah, Owl Club. <laughs> Alright, we still have to get that. I did the thing! I don't know what you did, but Ash is like a new person. <laughs> I, f I feel like we shouldn't just immediately talk to the next person. Like, we have to go do something and then come back. It's, it's, uh, it feels very abrupt. But it, it feels efficient. I feel like we're getting through stuff. Uh, say thanks to you. That should give you a discount at the store. I don't know if we can quite afford that right now, but I can give you something else. Ooh. You'll definitely do well with tarts in the cafe. Okay. Alright, let's go back to the cafe. Sorry about that. Uh, you were happy to see new Pokemon games coming out soon, but those were already in development, so anything that's early in the dev process has been pushed back. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I haven't, um... I haven't checked out the new Pokemon game very much. I've, I've still been playing Shield, actually. I, well, I played it a while ago. I played it, like, a year ago, and then I, um decided to play it again. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel very good. I, well, because what I want to do is I'll show you what I want to do. Let's just get all this out of the way. Let's just move it. Um, I want this cute display case. sweet. I want to have even more sweets on display. I want to accommodate everyone. But now this doesn't really fit here, right? We could try to put it over here. I feel like this is a test. <laughs> this is a test for when I uh, organize my own apartment. Okay, so I think get off the table. Get off the table. 
What do you think this is? Why can't I pick up the egg? Yeah, here. There we go. Alright, we're gonna put this over here. What are you doing? These animals are freaking out. It's gonna be right in front of the display case, but I don't think anybody's gonna complain. Oh god, the poor deer. He's having a rough day. I forget if we can, like, adjust- Oh, hell yeah, we can! Oh, man. That's so much easier. Actually get a bit of idea of where things are. I didn't want to do like the uh, the bar seating type of look by having the couches like parallel. Get out of the way! Get out of the way, all of you! Oh, it, did, it didn't even matter. I thought it wouldn't let me place it. It's a cat tower. Is it? I don't know what it is. Spooky. We gotta put up some spooky stuff for our friend. Which way is bit of privacy. Please. Oh, it's definitely backwards. But you know what? No one's gonna know. It's also floating. That's also fine. Alright, even though we didn't have to do any baking, I want to. Not yet made. Blonde. Coffee we have made. Tart. Let's do the tart. Hell yeah. Does anyone in chat like to bake? Is anyone like a hobbyist baker? I'd call myself a hob- like a, a hobby baker. I like to cook a lot. I've started cooking a lot more for myself in the pandemic. Like, 
when you're cooking every night, it's hard to get away with, you know, having the same thing every day. Or normally I would mix it up just by eating out more. But I got really into um, making fancy cupcakes. Let's make the cake. Uh, my favorite is to make red velvet and uh, with cream cheese icing with orange zest. It's probably my favorite. No, get back in! Get in there. It's a big cake. make the bread I baked a cake for the first time this weekend it was a box cake and it didn't turn out the best but you have to start somewhere hey box cake there's nothing wrong with a box cake I like to make boxed brownies like it's a, if it tastes good it tastes good but it's um it's a good place to start and they make it really approachable but yeah, I make I make boxed brownies um, every now and again. I kind of have to be careful because I can't do dairy, so I kind of have to pick stuff based on like what can be made vegan or dairy free at least. Oh God, so much bread! Meow. Oh my God, cat! Sorry about the cat meow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. All right, there we go. Is there anything else we haven't made yet? Yeah, there's a couple things. I think like once you've made it, you just like have it forever. What kind of cake did you make? Cuz I think chocolate cake is is my favorite. And, and I like red velvet a lot because it feels like chocolate cake for adults. It just feels a little more fancy. But it's just chocolate cake. Chocolate cake with food dye. Alright, last one. Donut. Of course, it has the most ingredients. I've never made donuts. I'd be curious to try that. You can substitute, like, almond milk, or do you have to use a different recipe entirely? A super moist devil's food cake. Ooh, yum. Um, yeah, you can usually substitute stuff. The The only difference with, like, using a, a vegan recipe is that it's kind of designed for that ingredient, whereas the substitutes, they usually work, but sometimes they don't. Or, like, the cake will just come out kind of dry, or, or the proportions will be a little weird. Um... So when I can, I like to uh, specifically use a vegan recipe. But there's a book that I really like called Vegan Cupcakes Take Over the World, and it is my it is my go-to for baking. All right, the vanilla is definitely in the bowl. There we go. Perfect. And then I forget how we, uh, I think, actually, I think we have to go over here. And then we go here, and then we display case. Oh, it's just gonna be the same display case. Okay. Well, we can swap it up a little. Let's do the... Oh, nope, nope. We'll 
we'll swap out the cake there. And then the tart. Let's do the tart there. We'll keep the coffee, because we know that the coffee needs to be there for some for somebody. Um, the flan was also new. Oh, no. Let's put the flan there. And then the last thing we don't have is the bread, so we can, we can swap out one more. Just to keep things fresh and interesting. Okay. And then let's sleep and we'll come back. Also save the game a little. I have to make a really difficult choice tonight. So like, okay, I'm I'm the type of person where like I just kind of need chocolate in my daily life. If I if I don't have it, it just my day is just like worse. It's just not not a good day. Happy bar, please. And uh tonight I have the choice between some admittedly stale chocolate cake or I picked up some strawberries and I can like drizzle some chocolate on top and have that for dessert. And it's gonna be a hard choice. It's gonna be tough. But yeah, I don't know, like when I, a couple months ago I was really strictly following a calorie counting diet and so I stopped eating chocolate and after like three or four days I was just like, I feel worse. Like it. Everything else about my diet is manageable except cutting chocolate, so I had to just like start portioning for it. Um, I needed to talk to Ash. I love Ash's hair. Hey, I did the thing. Spooky furniture. You really got what I was talking about, huh? Didn't that totally change up the vibe? Here, you should take this stuff, too, for the cafe. Estelle probably won't notice it's missing. Probably. That's theft. Alright. And then who wanted the, uh... I thought that was Ash that wanted the coffee, too. Ooh. Spooky dresser. Yeah. I like that. Cloud table. A basic cat bed? We don't have any cat beds yet. Why is it like upright like that? It's cheap, we'll buy it. You're doing calorie, uh, calories in, calories out as well. Keep room for your nightly dessert. You, I feel like you've gotta, right? Like, I, I don't know, like, there's some amount of being human that you just can't cut out of your life. Um, but, I mean, that shit works. Like, if you do really well at, at counting, um, and I, I found I needed to work out also to really notice an impact, but it, it worked. I did it for about six months. Six months? No, less than that. Four months? And then I took a break. I was like, I just, I couldn't really sustain it anymore. I think the COVID was really getting to me. So right now I'm kind of on a hiatus. I'm just, um, I really, I just upped my calories. So now I'm just maintaining. And then if I feel like getting back to it, I'll drop it back down. But I'm, I'm close to my goal. Polar bear.
But yeah, some of the things that I would eat when I was on my uh, really strict calorie counting was pretty silly. Like, I, I always liked pickles, but sometimes just like grabbing a couple spears of pickles just to like hold you over to the next meal. <laughs> Just to get, like, get something without it being, like, a chips or, or a heavy snack. Where'd she go? There you are. Hiding from me. Supplies delivery. Wow, running a cat cafe, clearing rocks, and you make deliveries too? Here's a little extra reward for your hard work. Remember to take a day off every now and then. Maybe relax in a hot spring? need anything? Oh, you're here for soak? Only one of our springs is open right now. I hope that's okay with you. Of course, that's fine. Uh, did something happen? We had a big birthday party here. Some kids from Cutie City rented out the whole onsen. But I'm one- I'm not one to complain about good business, but they left a bit of a mess here. So we're doing a little cleanup around some of the pools. And to make sure- and to make things worse, they were making so much noise that all the capybaras that usually hang out, uh, ran off. I'm worried about them out there in the cold. Oh, but wait, you're here. Since you run a cat cafe, you must be great with animals, right? Do you think it, you could roam up some of the, my runaway children for me? I'm sure we'll have the whole place up and running by the time you finish. Sure, I'm great at finding animals. That would be wonderful. There were three capybaras living here um, that the party scared off. They can't have gotten too far. You should try looking in the areas nearby. Alright, we'll go find some capybara. Oh, that's like a seat. That's one of those cat beds. Uh, your big one is sunflower seeds. Yeah, yeah, keeps keeps your mouth busy without a ton of calories. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Popcorn I also liked a lot. Like, that was a noise. Um, like sea salt and vinegar popcorn specifically was good because it's just like a lot of volume but not a lot to it. I know we saw some capybaras down here and I was like, what are you doing down here? And we only need to find one, I think, because we've got two in our custody. The other one was down here at the bridge. Hope it's still here. Yeah, come here. Hey, bud. Hi. Follow me. Uh, tea helps a lot, too. I like to make cold brew tea. Oh, hey. Where are you going? Just coming up to talk to you. I don't... I don't like that. I don't like that she's leaving. I'm also wondering if I'm gonna have to, like, go back to my house and get the other capybara. I don't want to come back up and down this mountain, like, a million times. That's what I'm worried about. Come, other capybara. I guess we could leave this one here. Hey. Be free. Where'd the other one go? My friend! 
Oh, oh, no. Well. There we go. All right, where's our other capybara? Capybara! Where'd he go? Deliver eggs to Kiva. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's do that next, I guess. I just don't want to go all the way back up the mountain again. Just yet. I still want to figure out how to get past those construction cats, and I have a feeling we just have to do kind of like side quests until then. I guess I also should have checked out like where she is on the map. Okay, she's at her house. I love eggs. Oh, you mean my delivery. Yes, thank you for the egg. Don't need anything at the moment. Deliver chair to Lily. Which one's Lily? Aha! You! I have a chair! Chair delivery! Oh, it's perfect for my dad. He works th the flower farm all day and he needs to learn to take a break sometimes. And when he finally takes that break in his nice chair, that's my opportunity to take over. He thinks he can paint more flowers than me in a day. I'll show him. Let's see how many flowers you can paint while you're napping comfortably in this chair. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Need anything? Can't wait to try ground mushrooms. What's for sale? Ooh, look at all this. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> oh, we're we're out of money. Oh no. I want all of that. That's important to me. Oh, he's back here. Hey man. I think I got stuff that I put in my cafe for you. I did the thing. Saw that rad furniture. I'm really touched that someone as stylish as you thought that my style advice was worth following. Been trying to clean up some of my junk around the place. Found a few things that I thought you might like if you want them. Thanks, man. What's the story, Morning Glory? Sells the same stuff. I need to know uh, whether you're settling into town okay. Have you been getting uh, to know everyone? Oh, speaking of which, have you met my daughter Lily yet? Yeah, I have. She's such a kind kid. You wouldn't believe it. She works so hard helping me out around Flower Farm. She's a verifiable genius at it. She always brings home some new potion that will make the flowers grow. I would have never thought to use magic on my flowers. Don't get me wrong, we've had a few mishaps. Flowers turning horribly un unfashionable colors or growing teeth, that kind of thing. But we've also discovered amazing techniques for keeping our flowers fast, growing our flowers fast, keeping them happy, all thanks to Lily. Oh, sorry, did I go start going on too much about my daughter? I guess uh, she's just been on my mind lately because she's been so helpful. I wish I could do something for her in return. 
Just this morning, I asked her if there's anything she wants, but she wouldn't say. Well, what does she like? You know, I just thought of something. Back when your aunt ran the cat cafe, Lily would always ask me to pick up one of those tasty croissants whenever I stopped by. Croissants are Lily's favorite food, but we haven't had them in ages. Do you think you could put croissants back on the menu? You know, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? Okay, sure. Oh, thank you. And wait, one more thing. Lily, uh, don't mention it to Lily. That way I can surprise her. I did the thing. Hey, you got the croissants. I can't thank you enough. Lily's eyes practically popped out of her head when she saw me coming home with proper cat cafe croissant. Please take this as a thank you. It's your another of your aunt's old recipes. This one's for sandwiches. I got a copy of your aunt's uh, of your aunt because I loved it so much. Sandwiches are my favorite food. Nothing right now. Okay. Tell Ash the deliveries are done. Do it. Ash, where are you? Ash behind there? Is Ash at the cafe? Yeah, Ash is at the cafe. Snow day potion. Hey, Ash. Sup? Deliveries are done. Good job, you're definitely Owl Club material. Now let's go, the others are waiting for us. Alright. We gotta find all these capybaras. Hopefully we'll find some on the way up. At Freya's house, okay. We have so many cats. I forgot that we were they had the cat on our head. Somehow forgot that. Any capybaras around? Yeah. It'll be nice when the get the beach open again. Have you heard about the poison flowers there? Yep, we we talked. Yeah, I mean, everything is as fine as it can be. I just, okay, it's about Maya. I keep saying Mia, but I think it's Maya. I miss her, and I'm feeling guilty about not getting out to visit her. You're heading off? Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great night. I was hoping you might be able to help out. I can't get out to see her right now, but I wanted to ask if you could deliver some fresh baked donuts to your cafe. No problem, I'll swing by and visit the next chance I get. Thanks, you've really taken some weight off my shoulders. Catch up with you later. Uh, we're all here, right? Hoot! 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 First order of business is accepting our new member. All in favor? E. 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 The E's have it. Welcome to the Owl Club. Hoot hoot. Now on our second issue, the crew construction cats have blocked off the road into the city and we can't get them to budge. Yes. Okay. 
Newest member, what happened when you talked to them? Meow, meow, meow. That doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't make sense. Road construction is an ancient art shrouded in mystery. Uh, no, I meant to say... They just said soft paws hat soup. Wait, Ash, you speak cat? Well, yeah, speaking cat is the first year witch school stuff. Well then, we have our translator. Let's go have a constructive cat chat. Owl club for field trip time. Oh no, that's not what I meant. I want to find these capybara before we go down. I want to at least find one of them and have it follow us. Let's check over this way. If I was a capybara, I'd hide over here. Oh, yep, there is our friend. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't saved. Let's do it. Follow me. So we've got at least one. We'll go back up and drop it off. Hopefully that's all the capybara we need, because we had the other one, but it just kind of vanished when we got up here. Hope it's following us. I should have made it bigger. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, we got two up here. Alright, we'll just wait for this other one to show up. We'll release it. You seem stuck. You're free. Now we just need to wait for this other one to show up. I should have carried it. Where'd you go, bud? Oh god, where'd it go? Oh, god damn it. There you are. Hello. We're returning you to your home. And then let's let's turn one of them back into a small boy. 
There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But where'd our cat go? You know what? Uh, no, but we need to ride something. I don't want to run the whole way. Come here. Oh, you know what? Perfect. Now we're thinking with portals. I miss our cat, though. I really liked that cat. I'm glad that this works so we can just jump down the walls. It feels more fun. Let's see what these construction cats want. I just noticed that it has the day, too. Hey, Ash, can you talk to these cats for us? Yeah. Sup? Need anything? Not today. No, we're talking to the cats, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. 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 I'm gonna save really quick. I'm, I'm paranoid. They said they need bagel energy to finish the construction. Bagels? <laughs> They're uh, deficit in vitamin bagel. So sleepy. You run the cafe, right? You make up some bagels? We could clear out these construction cats and you'd have new customers, too. If you need the recipe for bagels, we have it back at the general store. Another problem solved by the Owl Club. Hoot hoot. Did we already make a bagel? Oh, I can't. I was hoping I could buy. But I guess not. I did the thing. Thank you so much. The onsen just doesn't uh, doesn't feel complete without the capybaras around. I want you to have this recipe. It's for takiyaki. Taiyaki? Taiyaki. My favorite food. Sweet. We're getting all kinds of food. It's already almost 10 p.m. What's for sale? Bagel! <laughs> the cat's green eyes are so freaky. Uh, Alright, let's go back. Oh, good, our cat came home. Flower. Yeast. Butter. An egg. And salt. Ta da!
Alright, let's go to bed. And then when we wake up, we'll uh, see what's going on. New day. But it's still Saturday. And all the animals are still stuck, but that's... That is alright. I kind of want to move this. Oh! Whoops. I accidentally got rid of it. Uh, inventory. I think it was a cute... Yeah. There we go. That's what I want to do. Perfect. That looks a little better, doesn't it? No one actually needs to be behind the counter. Oh, this is going upstairs. Yeah. Maybe we should have a little spooky corner up here. I like that idea. keep doing that. I'm gonna do the couch there, and then we'll put this dresser next to the other dresser. Succulent. Because this stuff we need downstairs. 100%. Maybe. It'll fit. I kind of like the egg one. Uh, I'm not sure where to put this. A citrus bean bag. It's kind of planty. I'll just toss that there. Garden. Actually, let's put it over next to the koi pond. Am I overthinking this? Probably. But you know what? It's my game. I'll play it how I want. And we're going to move the tree over there, too. Because now it's covering the sign. We can't have that. <laughs> the tree moving is so weird. has got to be like overhang of the uh, yeah I love it all right where's our cat at come here cat I require you Oh, just wait until we have this whole area filled up with patio furniture. Bark, bark, bark.
Tell the construction cats the cafe has bagels. Did we make the bagel? It says to tell them they have bagels. Which actually is this way. I just realized I've been drinking caffeinated tea for the last two hours. I grabbed like a whole cup because I'm like, oh, it's eight o'clock. That's not too late for tea. But I didn't consider that I'll, I'd still be drinking it for an hour and a half. I don't have to get up early. It'll be fine. Happy! Yeah! Did it. Look at this, we're in a new area! Oh my god, working cats everywhere! Malcolm, howdy there, I'm Malcolm. I do Malcolm things in a Malcolm way. Do you need anything? I could use someone to talk through something with, actually. I feel like you would give good advice. Here's what's up. There's a big dance competition happening in the city next week. I've been seeing posters for it all around town. At first I was so excited. I love dancing. This would be the perfect opportunity for me to show that off. But what's wrong? I'm really nervous. There are going to be a lot of really talented cats competing. And cats are super nimble and flexible. This city is teeming. Uh, with amazing dancers. What if I embarrass myself? What would make you feel more confident? I don't know. Do you... Oh, there's a bug. I'm gonna close the window. There's like a gap with my window and I, I can see the bugs come in. And, like, there's not supposed to be. There's, like, a, a, a strip of fabric that's supposed to keep it closed, but it just doesn't. I don't know. Do you think you could give me some feedback on my dance moves? Sure. I'm really digging this. I need to decide which dance I'm gonna do ASAP. A dancer... Oh. Just bought a lot of bread. A uh, dancer can't only have one move up his sleeve. I have three options. Alright, let's see the first one. Very cool. Let me see another one. That one's perfect. I don't look ridiculous. No, your moves are amazing. Wow, hearing you say that makes me feel a lot more confident. Okay. So now that I know what move I'm doing, that's one step in the right direction. Now I just need to practice endlessly. Good luck. Aw, we got a bird. Is that a raccoon? Trashy. Go to the cafe, Trashy. What a cutie patootie. Can't get over all these cats walking around and standing up. Oh, hi. Hey, we were looking for Sin. Oh my gosh, hello. I'm so excited to see a new person in town. I heard you were opening up a cafe and I'm so excited. Please save something sweet for me. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. Mushroom spores for Lily. Oh yes, I have them right here. She asked uh, me to say sorry she couldn't make it herself. I actually thought this might happen. Lily works hard, so hard in that flower shop. So I wrote up some instructions for her about what kind of care each uh, different spores need. Can you give her these two? Uh, I was wondering if you could, wondering if you could maybe get three, uh, get more kinds of chairs. A little variety never hurts, and it can be hard to find your favorite seat in a cat cafe. Uh, what's comfy for one person might be bad for another. So how about it? Could you maybe make sure you've got at least three different kinds of chairs in your cafe? Sure, I want everyone to feel comfortable. Thanks so much. I guess I only have two right now. I want to find all the people. 
Hello. Are you my three o'clock meeting? No? How rude of me. I'm Safina, CFO of Cat Corp. My assistant told me that Heart Village Cat Cafe was reopening under new ownership. I'm so glad we were able to connect. Have you ever thought about opening a franchise of other cafes, merchandise, children's cartoon? Possibilities are endless. Let's do lunch sometime. How's business? Do you need anything? Oh, you're here. That's great timing. I have something to give you. I've got some new market data in from our Cat Foods Corp groups meeting. Figured that um, the cat market, especially business cats, are really fickle. Uh, they'd love to have accommodations and decorations while they're eating, and we think we figured out the next big trend. Take a look at this list. Pull them all up. I know it seems a little random, but trust me. Once the word gets out that you're going, you're going to see results, at least for a little while. They get bored pretty quick. Thanks, I'll give that a try. I did the thing! You're back, how'd it go? No, wait. I'll guess. It was great? It was great. Uh, while it lasted. Well, of course it was. That's just what I said would happen. The data never lies. Don't be afraid to try out new combinations and try things up. Keep things fresh is a great way to keep your customers happy. Nice to see you. Really, though, how's business? Business is good. Really? How good? Have you considered investing your profits? I have been working with several very promising young business cats who would really appreciate a show of support from a local cat-themed business owner like yourself. Alright, tell me about these business cats. Firstly, there's Gato Gelato, the cat-themed ice cream shop, serving flavors like Choco Cat, Pawberry, Vanilla Nay, and... Uh, all three together as Neapolitan. Alright. They need funds for a new display cabinet. <laughs> they use the paw pun twice. Next is Musical Notes. Your one-stop shop for records, instruments, and more. They have all their inventory, they just need a little help installing goods overhead speakers. I love music. Finally, How Are You Feline, an emotional support group for cats. They need some money for snacks. I think a couple of my cats could use a visit. So what'll it be? Gelato needs 400 beans for a display case, uh, Musical Notes needs 600 beans, and How Are You Feline needs 300 beans for a snack. They'll all pay you back with interest once their businesses are up and running. Here, I'll ask you about them one by one. Would you like to invest 400 beans in Gato Gelato for a display case? Yes. How wonderful. Would you like to invest 600 beans? Yes. 300 beans? Yes. Wonderful. Amazing. Lovely to see local businesses supporting one another. Okay, why don't you come by later and I'll let you know how everything is doing. Don't worry. You're sure to make a good return on your investment. Come back later. Alright. We just need to exhaust all of the dialogue options. It's important. An arcade? Did I miss anyone? Oh wow, I just realized we like don't have a quest right now. We don't have a main quest. Hey, you're new. Lee, hey, wait a second, you're new. I'm Lee, we should be friends. We're, st we're friends now. And you cleared the way to Heart Village. Maribel's fashion store is the best. We should hang out there sometime. Need anything? Actually, I kind of need help with something. It's a little bit embarrassing, though. And it's a secret. But I know you're trustworthy, so I'll tell you. Did you know that Maribel's birthday is coming, though? She hangs out in the arcade sometimes, and last we were in there, I saw her eyeing this uh, cute new bunny rabbit plushie that got added to the claw machine. Thought I'd be able to get it to her for her birthday, no problem, but the machine is totally impossible. I've used up literally all of my change trying and trying, but I'm so close, I even managed to pick the rabbit up and move it so it's really close to the end. It fell out of my grasp, but I know I'm almost there. Do you think you could lend me some money to try a few more times? A hundred beans should be enough. I know it's a lot to ask. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I won't let you down. 
One more try. Yep. We'll come back. Yo, look at these rad cats. Look at them go. talk to the kid already. Hey, here's somebody. What's up? Steve, Hello? have you seen a dragon around here? No, nothing to worry about. I have the situation under control. Don't currently know where that situation is, but I assure you that whatever it is, it's under control. I'm Steve. Do you need anything? Do you like cute things? Yeah, who doesn't? I was experimenting with a new potion the other day. It was supposed to clean furniture, you know, remove stains and dust, that sort of thing. Estelle and I have been talking about something like that for a while, but turns out it's more complicated than you think. It didn't work out this time either, but as I was working on it, I saw potential for a potion that turns furniture cute. So I got sidetracked into working on that one. Maybe the reason I never finished the cleaning potion is that I always get sucked into working on something more fun instead. Anyways, the cutie city cutification potion works. At least, it was working. I made a couple final tweaks to it that I need to test, but I ran out of furniture to test it on. If you can believe it, I already used it on all the furniture in my house. Wasn't planning on redecorating until the spring, but here we are. I could really use some help finding a new furniture subjects to, for testing. Right now I'm curious to see how the potion works on display cases, and since you run the cafe, I know you'd have at least one. Could you bring me a basic display case to test the potion on? I'm sure the cat cafe could use some more cuteness. Sure. Alright. Official orders from the city. A mess of poisonous flowers. Can't go until they're taken care of. Okay. Let's head back to the cafe. I should leave this cat outside. I think here is actually a good place to stop for tonight. Been live for about two hours. About 10.30 for me now, getting a little bit late. I kind of want to wind down. So let's let's save again. When my day begins with you. I'm gonna quit and tab out over here. And let's see who's online. Let's see who we can raid. 